Let's start. Okay. Actually, I turn off turn off internet. I'm not sure if it will work. Mm. Yeah, probably need to. Turn it on. My name is Miles, 18 years old, turning 19 next month. Just an average introverted girl with no friends. July 7, 2014. I live in the Philippines, studying college at... I forget. I transfer schools very often. Life is boring. All I have to look forward to are obscure news games. I just got an, an unreleased game of theirs too. I've been waiting to play this for a long time. I haven't felt this excited in a while. I was never excited going to school. I didn't have friends. What else should I look forward to? Schoolwork? If only I could stay all day and play games somehow. Huh, that would be cool. This game of theirs is really something. It's weird. It looks old and strange. Probably why it wasn't released. I'm not late yet. I think I could play one round. Young lady, need I remind you that you are late for school. Stop playing those games. Dad. Take these books and head on over. Be excited. You might meet some friends there. Dad, I'm not a kid anymore. I'm an adult now. I'm not the type of to get excited at the thought of meeting new friends. Well, not anymore. I'm giving up on that. What's the point? We are probably moving again soon anyway. Dad. Well, since it's just your second week at school, I figured you'd get more chances to meet friends. Stop it, Dad. This is all your fault. If you hadn't taken the stupid job with Rostenstein, I would have met people who would accept me for who I am. If I had stayed at one place long enough, it doesn't matter. I don't think you care for me at all. All you think about is stupid job. For 18 years, I was always known as the weird girl, the one with, the one with no friends, strict parents, and strange habits. I was an outcast and fast because I loved to smell every page of the books I read. Weird, right? Another was because I spent all day playing games. To now, people still discriminate games, gamers in 2014. <laughs> 
I haven't had this chance to meet any local teen. I knew nobody and was scared of having to make new friends. I haven't spoken to anyone in town yet. I was too shy, you see, until one day. Boom. Venice. Hey, watch it! I'm sorry I didn't mean to stomp you on your food. I was just in a hurry. I was late for my new next class. I've got to go. Not so fast, you clumsy wimpy. I said I'm sorry, Vince. Now get over it. We are both adults. We shouldn't make it a big deal. What did you just say to me? So you already know me, huh? Well, the who would uh, who would have not known the most famous girl on campus? Anyway, I really need to get going. I'm running late. Sorry about your shoes, though. Oh no, dear. I'm not gonna let it pass just like that. You see, these are new shoes and you ruined it. Excuse me? I'm pretty sure you're not deaf. You heard it right. You'll pay for this. Can we talk about this later? I need to run. Run all you want, Wimpy. Meet me at the mansion 5 p.m. Sharp. Don't make me wait. If you don't show up, there'll be hell to pay. I don't know, okay? I will try. Nonsense, Wimpy. You don't have a choice. After class, I contemplated going in and paced back and forth at the idea. Do you really need to see Venice? Did I actually ruin her shoes? What did she mean by me paying for her ruined shoes? Why does she want me to make her to meet her at the mansion? Does she want me to literally pay her for sh the shoes? I don't think I'll be able to afford it. Or worse, does she want me to fight her or something? I never got into fight before. Should I go home? Typical spoiled rich brat. Venice isn't really the type of uh, person I should snub. She is the leader of a powerful serenity here. Uh, I may not have friends here, but I'm a good observer. A lot of fr students fear her because of her serenity. Bullying. I don't want to get bullied again. I've been through many schools and it's time for the to, to stop. I'm going. Venice. Girls. In an hour, we will we'll have someone new. A girl I met, I think she's the one. She will be entering the mansion soon. And yes, I had it set up. She won't believe in. Don't worry. Sisters, our sorority has endured for a hundred years. Our generation will usher in a new era. Okay. Soon. What is written in the guidestones will be a reality. Everything we've been planning for will happen. Okay. I basically peer pressured myself into meeting up with Venice. Venice, you're late. You're here now. Ah, am I off? You're here now. What are we doing here? Are you scared? Why? Is there anything to be scared of? Oh, such a cute, brave little wampy we got here. Enough, I don't have uh, much time for this. My da dad is waiting for me at home. Duh, why are you always such in a hurry? I got more important things to do, you know. Is that so? Just so you know, this awesome shoe is a limited edition, and I bet you got no money to pay for it. And for that, you'll need to do something for me. I'm not surprised. I heard so much about you. The gossips are true after all. You heard it all right. You know what? I don't care. Oh well, it's getting late and I still need to get my hair done for the party. Will you cut it off? Cut it out? Just tell me what to do now. Take a chill pill, Wimpy. Here's what you're going to do. Spend the night in the infamous mansion. Just stay there for the night and we're, we're even. Are you out of your mind? Why would I do such craziness? No way! 
Not only that, I have a deal for you. A deal? What's in it for me? I know that you have been invisible to everyone at school, and you do not have any friends. Not really, not really an issue for me. I be I'm better off alone. I like it that way. Whatever it is, no thanks. I guess you believe in fairness and quality, right? Don't you want people to start treating you better? I believe in that, yes, and I, it means people like you shouldn't force people to do what you want. I see that you have a big mouth too. That's it, I'm leaving. Your father wouldn't like that. What Venus wants, Venice gets. What? Your father works at Rothstein Institute, yes? How did you know? I uh, had my people look into you. If you don't do this, I'll have my aunt, Lilith, fire your father. It's a shame too, since losing his wife, you and that job are all that he has left. Don't you dare talk about my parents. But okay, you have my attention, Venice. You got it right, Wimpy. Don't worry, this is a tradition. If you pass the test, you'll part you'll be part of our sorority. You'll be respected and honored like every member. You'll be popular among students and teachers alike. Your father will surely appreciate what you're about to do. Appreciate what? Living by your rules? I can trace back a curious and probably detrimental aspect of my personality at that time. Truth is, I didn't mind staying at the mansion. I've read about it and it's paranormal phenomena. I guess I just wanted to see it for myself. Aside from that, I may have hated my father's job, but I didn't want him to lose it. I didn't want him to lose anything again. But why me? Are you a boring person and you ruined my shoes? Listen, I don't really care about joining your little gr group. Just promise not to bother me after tonight. Take a chill pill, Crumsy. It's a deal. You have my word. Good. If you accomplish the task, we will t tell the whole campus not to bother you. We will protect you. That includes us too. We won't make your life miserable. Your father gets to keep his job. The opposite happens if you fail. The entire campus will be your enemies. You will not graduate. Everything you work hard for out the window. Why do you want me to go through this so bad? Honestly. Um, if you must know, I've been low on recruits this year. And I was hoping that after this, you may consider joining. Sorority life isn't so bad. You'll get new friends. Now a lot about campus life too. You'll have sisters who will support you in your endeavors. You'll get a chance to engage in philanthropic activities. We can make a difference in our community together. I may, I may be mean, a big sister to you, but I hope you consider joining us after tonight. I'll think about it. Why didn't I see it coming? Why did I have to be so stupid? What am I doing here? The mansion. It was an old Victorian era mansion that was said to be haunted by the spirits. It is just a few blocks away from the campus. TV shows devote an entire episode about this place. They said no one should enter this mansion, for it, for it, kill, for it could kill you and take your soul. Clickbait and fake news. When I was 12, I stopped believed, believing in ghosts and spirits. So I always thought that, my, uh, that any story involving this house was nonsense. A hoax, all made up for ratings. Why here? Oh my god, music is so scary. <laughs> I heard somebody on the on the, on the bottom floor. Oh my god, the sound. Okay. <sighs> uh, I will. Uh, Venice. We always had our sorority rights here. The location 
for the initiation needed to be a place where great fear is felt. It allows us to stop wimps like you from joining the club. The place is perfect for that, and at night there's no life. The rules are simple. Spend the night at the mansion. You got to leave at 6 a.m. You are allowed to sweep. Well, we will know if you try to leave the mansion. Trust me, don't even try it. Also, no phones allowed. What a great way to get people into sorority. You, you give your members heart attacks and mental issues. Hey, don't tell you how to run our sorority, don't I? Oh wait, that's right, you don't have one. Now, get your butt in there before I kick it. Okay, advertisement is here. Do I have to click or something? Okay. Uh, this is difficult, very difficult. I'm not at all comfortable with this. I keep reminding myself why I'm doing this. Spend the whole night at the mansion and leave at 6 a.m. Easier said than done. I tried to play it cool, but you couldn't ignore the panic starting to rise up in my belly. The front entrance wasn't locked, so I stepped inside. The silence was obvious and unnerving. With my flashlight in hand, I looked around the house to see what it's really like on the inside. Felt like I'm walking into a horror movie. I figured that someone was about to play a prank on me, so I stay still and I wait for someone to pop out to nowhere. There is a window just behind me. The curtains were light and translucent, so some light came through from the street light. The exact moment that I turned to look what it's like in the living room and then crashing sound. What was it? Who could it be? Am I just overreacting? Did I hear it right? So many questions flooded my mind. Ha! Huh, maybe I'm just getting too paranoid and jumpy. Crap, I need to find a place to crash for the night. I walked deeper into the house. I headed upstairs to find a room. I mustered the courage to get into the front of the door. I wondered if I should turn around and go back. I cautiously started into it, stared into it, fearing for whatever wasn't there. I decided to hold the doorknob, twist it and pull it slowly. The door opened into a cold emptiness. I used the flashlight to look around. There wasn't really anything interesting about this room. I stepped back into the room and took a better look around with the flashlight while using my shirt to cover my nose from the stench. And in the very corner of the room I saw her. It was a girl. Her back was towards me as she stood facing the corner of the room. Her short hair with a shade of purple stood still. I just started at her, stared at her for a minute, not sure of what to say. I didn't know what to do. I ran out of, wo of words to say, or maybe the best way to do is to get out of the room and leave the girl alone, but before I could make another step, the girl speaks. Hey! Relief washed over me like rain when I heard her voice. Hi, who are you? My name is Yana. Mm, why are you here? Says Miles. What are you doing here? Maybe the same reason why you're here. So you're here for the initiation too? Yes, that's the reason I came here. Okay, okay, so how you end up here? Hey, you alright? I didn't expect that someone would be here. I thought I'd be alone in the house. Well, I'll try not to bother you then. No, no, that's not what I meant. I'm happy I have a company. 
Same here. This place gives me the creeps. Why are you hanging on out in this room? I mean, it's a little odd. Don't you have plans to explore the house or something? Not at all. I'm too much of a scaredy cat to go around this house. I see. If you don't mind me asking, would you let yourself in on this craziness? Penis promised me that everything will be in my favor after tonight. Didn't you get blackmailed into going through with this? I want to know more about you. Actually, no. Why? What's your story? Everyone has a story. Some are good and some are, ba some are bad. Care to share? Let's just say I'm not too special. I'm average. Nothing noteworthy, really. I beg to disagree. I believe everyone is special in their own ways. Talking about me might be bore you. Just forget about it, okay? No fuss. Have nothing more to say then. I didn't mean it like that. My name is Miles, by the way. I didn't. I don't have any friends. People think I'm some kind of freak. I get bullied a lot. People love ruining my day whenever they get a chance. People can be very mean sometimes. When you don't fit in, I guess people like to pick your pick on you. I never fit in too because me and Dad move a lot. Is that why you're joining the sorority? No, nothing is going to change anyway. I got used to it anyway. Doesn't uh, bother me much. Cheer up, Miles. We got the whole night ahead of us. Yeah, so what do we do? What else could we possibly do around here? It's too dark and this is really huge house. Perhaps maybe we could play hide and seek. You might get lost or something. It would be best if we stay here. Let's just imagine this is our weird slumber party. <clears throat> we seem to be afraid of a lot of things in the house. What are you most afraid of? Nothing in particular, but I guess you could say that I'm afraid of the dark. And yet I found you here, in the dark, all by yourself. Aren't you afraid of the dark? Not everyone is afraid of the dark. Yeah. And some people are afraid of the light. I guess anyone could be afraid of anything. What do you mean? If it's something that you can't understand or explain, there is a good chance you'll fear it. People fear what they don't understand. In that case, anyone can overcome their fears too, even darkness or death, if they understand them. As for me, well, I did plan on joining the sorority, but now I can't. Why? You don't want Venice being your big sister? Well, that's a good reason. But the truth is, well, I just can't. Huh, okay. Um, I really want to take a look around. Would that be right? Alright. That's the last thing I want to do right now. Do you really want to go? Are you sure? Yes, I was being curious about this place. I've got a bad feeling about this. Loosen up. It's gonna be alright, you don't have to come with me. No, there is something in here, you don't want to meet it. What is it? I don't think you'll believe what I'm going to tell you. Not likely, truth is, uh, truth is I don't believe in ghosts and spirits and the like. But if I see one, well, I change my mind. It's not a ghost, it's something else, not from this world. What is it then? It's kind of triangular shaped entity okay that does sound ridiculous not buying it what else have you heard about this house uh well i'm telling you it's real you may have felt it already it can change your perceptions walls moving i did feel something like that earlier what else have you heard about it you did oh that's why anyway i first read about articles on the groups who tried to explore this place Groups? What happened to them? Some people died here. Autopsies couldn't determine the case. The cause. It was like their brains just shut off. Wow. Others reported feeling the walls moving. Nausea, daziness, headaches, but went home unsca unscathed. 
Now those that did, not, did go home, however, never had a good night's rest again. Their sleep was always interrupted. By what? Then there is a thing that comes into people's home. And does what? Oh god, that's insane! Nothing, just watches you. According to the, accordingly, they wake up and see it there. Huh. Now that's creepy. Anything else? The stories don't say. Uh, it just watches. Mm, but they say it's actually the worst part. Hmm. Imagine waking up and find it there and you know that it's been watching you. The feeling that you were no, never alone never leaves you. This is something that you can't avoid. Sounds scary, but people have always told stories like that. Yeah, wonder where they got it from. You know what? You know what? Forget it. Ah, you know what? Forget it. Forget what? You were right. Right about what? Right about not to try and explore this place. And what made you change your mind? A lot really, I'm not taking any chances. Admit it? You got scared because of my story. Somehow, not everyone has a brave heart of their own. Besides, this house is very old. You might fall or slip into the holes or something. Good to hear that, Maya. I'm just glad you changed your mind. Maybe the best thing to do now is to try to catch some sleep. We still got classes tomorrow. I'm not too worried about that. Yeah, unlike, unlike you, I don't work well with lack of sleep. Alright, Maya. Let's snooze. It's hard to sleep, uh, to sleep knowing that Venice got us into this mess. Such an unbelievable spoiled brat. It would be best not to talk about her. Let's get some rest. We'll be out here anytime soon. Venice better make sure that after tonight they won't be bothering me anymore. Let's call it a night. I think I saw a sweet looking bed in a room next to this one. Oh, and Miles, you said you didn't have friends, right? Yep. Can I be your friend? Sure. Aunt, Aunt Lilith, I've done it. Lilith, how many did you send in? Just one. Her name is Miles and... Just one? Do you not understand how important this is? This thing is that in that house. The Trinemesis holds the key. I know. I've sent it to girls this week. I'm trying my best. I'm sorry, Aunt Lilith. Perhaps next week I'll... Nonsense, Venus. Dr. Rods Rothstein needs more data. Send more people in or I'll pull the plug on your sorority. Aunt, I know you taught me never to ask questions about what we do here, but why exactly do we need more? When your uncle visited that place, the Trinemesis gave him a gift of source, a tumor-like device in his head. We want to know why your uncle received that, and if the Trinemesis will do the same to other visitors, Lilith says. Also, the Trinemesis can achieve the consciousness transfer with its power to digitally extract consciousness. We can copy, delete and move minds as easy as managing files. Imagine this power veins. We can usher in a new world. Yes, Aunt Lilith, I understand. But what about the Yundera program? Can we use them as test, as test subjects? Lilith, sadly, the yonder behind us is the last one. We already destroyed the others. Send more people in by next week. Yes, Aunt Lilith, I will not fail you. Chapter 3 Me and Yana found an old bed to sleep on. It was much bigger and more comfortable than the one in the other room. Unfortunately, the soonest I lied down, I felt the walls caving in and I found myself entering a bad dream. I woke up in a nightmare. 
My heart was pounding like it was going to burst out of my chest. I never felt my heart pounding so loud before. In my dream, I saw dim light shining in the hall, as through as though a light were on in one of the rooms. I made my way down the hall, stopping at the second room on the left. Inside, inside, a teenage girl that is about my age stood crying by a dimly lit fireplace. Who, who are you? I asked, bewildered and frightened. I am sad, wailed the girl as she turned around to face me. I didn't recognize who I was talking to, I just heard her voice. She was in the dark corner of the room, but I knew it was a girl. I noticed that it was the same fireplace I saw when I entered the dreaded mansion. In my dream I felt real, like I was there. Then I remember asking her. Why, what's wrong? I asked. I remember that I didn't exist any anymore. What are you saying? What do you mean you didn't exist? Don't exist. I'm sorry, but I don't understand, I confusingly said. I could feel the air getting colder. Then, in a brief moment, the girl responds. I died a week ago, on a night not too different from the night you entered the house. I was once just like you, Gulible, adventurous and full of life. One day, it was noon, break at school cafeteria, and I was playing some games on my phone. A group of mean girls came over and talked to me. They asked me if I wanted to be a party, part of their group. Then I said that all I had to do was to pass one test, like I dare. I just needed to spend the whole night in the infamous mansion, located a few blocks away from school campus. Being a new girl in school and certified nerd and a, a, and a teenager, I really wanted to join because I needed friends. I needed to feel that somehow I belonged. I wanted more than anything to have companions and friends. And just like that, I said yes to them. I don't know what got into me at that moment. Maybe I was just so lonely. I was lonely and foolish. It was the worst decision of my life. I shouldn't have fallen for their tricks. Oh my god, what have they done to you? Did they? I felt the tears softly falling down my face. I couldn't imagine what tragedy or bad luck this girl got into. I felt so sorry for her. I entered this house. It was my last mistake. I was about to get up on my knees to leave. But to my surprise, something scared the crap out of me. I couldn't explain what it was, but it was stalking me. In that moment, I stood still. I felt my body turn cold and my mind froze. I couldn't move, my heart beating faster than the usual. Breaths became shallow and heavy, and my head started to feel tight. Suddenly, I felt a sharp pain in my chest. Then I saw glitch-like distortions. I fell in the floor, then everything went black. I saw myself lying on the floor. I couldn't explain the feeling. Helpless and lifeless. Two days later, when I took some of my brain tissue, then burned my body to cover up what they did. Threw my lifeless body in the fireplace, in the living room, like I'm a worthless piece of meat. I want justice for what happened to me. Miles, I want you to help me. Please. It's not a consider coincidence that you are here in the house. You can see me and speak to me. I have no idea how it's possible, but you can. You have to help me. I want justice. I am counting on you, friend. I have faith in you. I know, I know you will never fail me, no matter what it takes. We have to stop her before she does this again. She looked at me with a pleading eye for a while. She fades amidst the room, just like the wind. Confused. Is it really a dream? Is this real? I asked myself. 
My eyes began to wander the entire room. I remember Yana and gasped loudly as I found the burnt prey piece of her dress beside me. Sigh, with a heavy heart, it really was Yana. So that is why it all felt weird last night. Last night. Now I know the truth. She wants justice. A gush of wine softly touches my face. Yana, I muttered to myself. Dead. Miles, where are you? You felt uh, you left your game running again. I've got good news for you. I quit my job. Ha, huh, must have left for school early. That's good. I'm sure Miles won't mind me trying to uh, try this game she likes so much. If I get good at it, She'll think her dad is cool and hip, and we can bond more after often by playing game. Start playing, stop playing. <laughs> Epsir secret game, not for release. Let's start. Whoa! Oh my goodness! This is not easy. Well, oh, I love I love this music really. Oh man! Okay. Oh. oh Yeah, this one is not easy. Okay, I I, I can jump on it two two times like all right. Wow. Oh man. <clears throat> oh, okay, I can stop playing actually. But let's see, maybe I can do better. Hmm. Yeah, I can stop playing any moment, like there's literally a button. Okay. I'm just curious, you know. Is it like randomly generated or something? I'm not really sure about that. Oh no no no! <laughs> okay, let's stop. Miles. Hey, Vanis. By the way, I want to thank you for the company you brought in last night. What is that? I met a friend of yours last night. Her name was Yana. Huh, I wonder if she certified loser made it made it through. But nobody doesn't stand a chance. How could you say such things? Yana, Miles, both nobodies and losers. Listen to me, I want to tell you a story, Venice. I hate it too, but we have a spend have to spend a little more time for that obnoxious loser. No, Venice, you listen to me. I know what you did to Yana. I know everything. You won't get away with it. Yana will never be found. She was no family, no friends. No one will be looking for her. I know the truth. I know what happened to her. For God's sake, Venice. Yana's dead because of your stupid sorority initiation. You don't even care about her. You and your friends moved on, like nothing happened. Venice, look at me when I'm talking to you. I don't feel guilty at all. It has to be done. We've been at this for decades. The family is pleased with our progress. Try telling that to Yana. My gosh, Venice, you're not even listening to me. As expected, Venice ran away to good knows, God knows where. 
Venice. Aunt Liz, I've done it. Another person dead because of your plans. This all better be worse in it and the end. I don't think I can go back to school for a while. That scene was too strange. Was that guilt? No, Venice. You have to do to be strong. You're doing this for the good of all, for the world, for uncle. No matter, I have to be strong. I have to get new I have to get new people in. Tomorrow I'm going back to the house. Then I will shit. <laughs> My godness, this is scary. <sighs> okay. Yana, this is impossible. This can't be real. Yana, maybe it isn't. Maybe it's all in your head. You know, I'm not a vengeful type I thought I was your last victim I thought it was a mistake but when you sent Miles in and you do it again and again I have to stop you sorry oh in Venice thank you living without a body isn't so bad in fact in fact I'm feeling fantastic Wow. My instinct kicked in and I had to urge to follow Venice. I need to see her. I need to talk to her. She can't leave just like that. I hurriedly ran towards her house. The door was wide open. I decided to let myself in. I heard a voice from upstairs. Help! I was very afraid. The screaming became louder and was struggled. I didn't have the courage to take the stairs. The screaming was then replaced with a horrible gargling voice. I knew I needed to go upstairs. I ran like hell. As fast as I could, the screaming stopped. It went silent just when I was about to enter the room. The doors were already open. What I saw was the most disturbing sight in my life. Venice was sitting in her bed. It looked like she died in shock. Her eyes were clouded with a horri horrified stare. Her clothes hung loosely around her skinny figure. And her face. Her face was dis disfigured in a way words couldn't describe. Venice looked horrible. I turn around and at the moment that I decided to leave, someone taps me on my shoulder. Bewildered, it was Yana. I could actually see her peacefully smiling at me. I walked out and into the streets. I felt tired and dizzy. I had a gut, gut feeling that I needed to go back to the mansion for the last time. My feet just started walking like it, it has a life of its own. I had so many questions for Yana, and I couldn't wait another way, day to ask her about it. I arrived at the mansion late afternoon. I took a good look at it. It looked so much better during the day. I never thought that the mansion looked perfect in any way. But despite the old and rusty furniture displays, I felt at home. I walked deeper into the mansion until finally I could see the room where I met Yana. I remembered everything that happened last night. I searched around the room in disbelief. Yana was nowhere to be found. I decided to check the room where we slept and noticed a familiar looking body on the bed. To my horror, I couldn't believe what I saw. That's her. My cold, lifeless body was on the bed. 
Yana appears, looking at me reassuringly. You never woke up from your sleep. You were already on your way to death when you entered this place. It's probably why you could see me. It's gonna be alright, I'm here for you. Okay. What? And jump scare. Please. Really? Based on the universe of Appseer Incorporated. Yana and Miles will return in their evil EXZ. EZ. Actually, I played this game. I finished it. Their evil EXZ. And also prequel. Prequel, prequel I was streaming on, um, on Twitch and YouTube. It's uh, it's nice. The pre history is also uh, nice. To, was nice to play, but uh, I really liked their their evil XZ. This game, it was really challenging. Uh, <laughs> it was just insane. Uh, good music also. Um, some story, yeah. Uh, jump scares and like really unusual platformer. I played because I never played uh, like scary, scary horror platformers before. So it was really unusual experience overall. And this one is also nice. It's a prehistory. It's some just kind of comic, comic book, <laughs> some sort. So. Uh, uh, thank you for watching and uh, probably next time I'll be playing um, Someday <laughs> I'll play uh, some other games from this studio So bye bye